third grade welcome to your very last recorder lesson of the school year so if you made it this far you should give yourself a round of applause you should be very proud of yourself because you've worked very hard on the recorder to get to the very last song so this is our black belt song and it is called ode to joy um, which you'll recognize once we start playing if you don't already recognize the name of the tune um, so before we um, get into playing our recorder as usual uh, we go through the notes and we name the notes on the paper so we can have our paper and get started on that um, a couple things to note is that there's actually no new notes or any new rhythms or any new pitches to learn in this lesson we're just going to practice together some of the harder parts of the song and just really work on getting this song to sound really beautiful and connected and majestic just the way it's supposed to be played so let's go and take our pencil and our music and write in those letter names right now so here is our ode to joy black belt song and as you can see this song does not have any words so uh we don't necessarily have to sing it on words. Um, of course, it's always good to sing the song, so we might do that anyway, just on the letter names before we play it. So the first note here starts on a B, then we go up to C, D, G, A, B, B, A. Oh, let's make these, well, yeah, uppercase, just to be consistent. And if I'm going a little bit too fast, you can always pause, um, but as far as we've been going and naming all of our notes, um, I bet you guys are getting faster and faster at it. But even if I am going a little too fast, you can always pause it. D, D, C, B, A. And notice how this is the same as this one up here. The same letter names. Let's see if this one is the same letter names as that one. G, G, A, B, A, G. So this is all the same except for G, A, and G, G here. It's B, A, A here. And then down here in the next line, A, A, B, G, A, B, C, B, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, A, D, B. And then this is a tie. So this is actually connected to this note. So it makes it one long note. I know that looks kind of confusing because this other note is written down here, but these are still tied together. I know, it's very weird. C, D, D, C, B, A. Let's see. This is the same as these two lines. Ooh, we like patterns. So G, A, B, A, G, G. Oh, and this one is the same as this one. We like seeing those patterns. So, just so you guys know, these parts, since they're repetitive, you're gonna end up practicing these parts more because they happen three times, almost exactly the same. This little part is a little bit different, but those parts are gonna be the easiest for you. So just to give you guys a heads up warning, this line right here, this third line, 
that's going to be hard. So if you just have to practice this one, you don't have to practice the whole song over and over again if you have the rest of it down. If this part is giving you trouble, that's the part you're going to practice the most. So some of the stuff we're going to practice on our recorder is going to be from this third line because that is probably going to give us some trouble. So we're going to sing this song on the letter names once through before we start getting out a recorder. B, so B sounds like this. It goes kind of high, so here we go on the count of four. One, two, three, four. B, B, C, D, D, C, B, A, G, G, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, C, D, D, C, B, A, G, G, A, B, A, G, G, you guys recognize that song so that is going to be the song we're going to play on the recorder and definitely um, this will be a more challenging part for us especially with these little TTs in there um, so another thing is that we there's no breath marks written anywhere in here but does that mean that we aren't gonna breathe Probably not. So one thing that is gonna be a new challenge for this one is you are going to choose for yourself where you're going to breathe. And when you choose for yourself where you breathe, um, you want to think about what makes sense, what makes musical sense. So you probably wouldn't go B, B, <gasps> C, D. That wouldn't make sense. So. Let's think about what might make sense and we'll make our own breath marks. And yours could be different than mine, but this is probably maybe what I'm going to do. B, B, C, D, D, C, B, A, G, G, A, B, B, A, A. Definitely gonna take a big deep breath right here. But if you guys need another little sneaky breath, um, or just you want more breaths in here, it's okay to take like maybe a tiny little baby breath right there. So if you go B, B, C, D, D, C, B, A, G, G, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, C, D, D, C, B, A, G, G, A, Especially if we're going to do this song slower, definitely might want to take a couple more breaths. Um, and then let's see this very difficult line. We go A, A, B, G, A, B, C, B, G. Tiny little sneaky breath right there maybe. A, B, C, B, A, G, A, D, B, What I did, I would I took a tiny little sneaky breath right there. That means your note right here has to be very, very short. So I took a tiny little sneaky breath because this is a long note and we can't break that note up. So let's see. A, A, B, G, A, B, C, B, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, A, D, B, B, C, D, D, C, B, A, a little sneaky breath, G, G, A, B, A, G, G. 
Now you can have the same breaths that I put in if you want to, or if you think you don't need the little sneaky breaths that I put in and you just take a really big breath on the end here, then that would probably work just fine too. All right, so getting out our recorders, we're going to practice some of the sneaky little parts in, in Ode to Joy. One of those sneaky little parts is, I'm gonna circle it for you. It's the A, B, C, B, G. And that part right here, A, B, C, B, G. So, on our recorder, that goes like this. Why don't you guys try that? A, B, C, B, G. So we're only using these three fingers and our thumb back here. So on the count of four, let's slowly do that together. One, two, three, four. Maybe even slower. And get a little bit faster. One, two, three, Four. And that's going to be about how fast we would do it anyway. So we don't want to speed up the song faster than it's supposed to be. So um, we're going to always try not to speed up songs unless they're actually supposed to be fast. So this one goes probably about this fast normally. B, B, C, D. to rush it past that tempo. So the next part, it does that A, B, C, B, A, G, A, D. Hmm. So we want to have our fingers ready so to put our, all of our fingers down for that D at the end. playing G A D to practice. So let's practice playing G A D on the count of four. One, two, three, four. And the reason we're practicing that is so that we can go from this note to this note. So from a kind of a higher note to a lower note. Um, so we can cover all those notes at the same time. Cause sometimes it can sound like we're not covering all the holes. So we just want to practice covering all those holes at the same time. So during this song, we only play that low D one time. So we still want to have our fingers ready to cover up all those holes. So we'll play G, A, D again on the count of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now that we have tackled that hard part, let's start from the very beginning of the song and see how we do. So starting on B, that's just with our top finger and our thumb right here. But we want to support our recorder and get ready for that D that happens um, on the end of the third line.
So I realized one of my mistakes is when I went down to the D, I think I was a little too proud of myself for getting that D and I hung on to it a little too long and forgot to play the B that goes right after it. So this is what I'm talking about if you can't see it. So I played our really hard line I was talking about and I played that low D and then I forgot that I had to play the B right after. So I am going to focus on doing that part. So what I'm, I think that I did pretty well on the first two lines. So I'm going to go ahead and skip down to this last line and see if I can make this part better where I get from this D and go on to the B at the end. So if you want to join me, we start on the third line on the A. out what it was that I needed to practice and what I needed to do, um, I was able to correct it. So um, if you guys play this and, and you practice this, because I actually practiced this before I got on the camera with you guys, so I'm not even perfect. So I had to definitely, I had to practice um, so that I could be able to play this song with you guys. So. Don't be discouraged if you can't play it the very first time. Um, but I know you guys got this far, so you guys can definitely do Ode to Joy. So do some practice, and, um, and I know you guys are gonna get those first two lines super fast. So once you have those first two lines down, definitely practice that third line a lot so that this song sounds very smooth and connected um, together. So that's our very last lesson, you guys. I hope you have fun with Ode to Joy and you can continue practicing your recorder um, over the summer if you would like. And I will hopefully see you guys again soon. Bye guys, have a good day.